So how's everything going? I have been under a lot of pressure lately. I don't know why everything in my life sucks. That's not true. Hey everyone. The word suck is derived from the Latin word sucan, which means choose or a sap. Until only in the mid 1900s when it became more popular. But how are we able to suck up the liquid using a straw? We don't. The air around us pushes the liquid all the way up. The air that we don't see, but its molecules are present in millions all around. There are different kinds of molecules in air with different complex structure. But surprisingly, they all follow the same fundamental laws at the atomic level, the ideal gas laws. And the first of them states that the pressure times volume is fixed at constant temperature. As an optimist would say, this glass is not empty, it's full of air. The number of collisions that the air molecules have on, let's say, the wall of the container and its strength determine the air pressure. Volume is simply the capacity of the vessel. Whenever we decrease the volume, the number of collisions increase and so there is increase in pressure. Conversely, when we decrease the pressure, there is increase in the volume. So when we pull in the air from the straw, there are less air molecules left in the straw and therefore lesser collisions and less pressure. The air in the straw does not push the liquid with the same force as the air outside of the straw does and so the air pressure outside wins. The liquid is pushed inside the straw right till the mouth. These phenomena are very common in our everyday lives. They are so common that we don't even realize it as we breathe. Breathing, we expand our lungs to increase the volume and so the pressure inside decreases. And therefore, the air around us fills in the space to obey the gas laws. But how much pressure does air exert? How much force can it sustain? Let me show it to you. Take a glass and fill it with water so that there is as little air as possible. Now take a cardboard and press it hard against the rim. And now comes the trick. Flip it. And it doesn't fall. It's not that gravity is not pulling it down. It's the air outside which is holding it from falling. Absence of air is called vacuum and the first vacuum pump was invented by German physicist Otto van Kurek in 1654. To demonstrate his machine, he performed an experiment in front of Ferdinand III, the then Holy Roman Emperor and his courtiers. What he did was he made a hollow copper sphere out of two hemispherical shells and used his machine to pull out all the air from within it. Then a rope was tied to both the ends and was pulled by 30 horses, but they couldn't. Why? The molecules of air pushing the sphere from outside and with no counter from within it were stronger than the brave horses who lost to an invisible force. This is heating up. Heat. Temperature. Temperature also has a role to play in gas laws. Time for another experiment. Take a hard boiled egg and a bottle whose neck just fits the egg such that it doesn't fall. Now light up a piece of paper and put it in the bottle, placing the egg again on the bottle. Amazing. So how did that happen? To understand that, we first need to understand the role of temperature. Whenever we increase the temperature of the air, we are giving it energy in the form of heat. This energy is consumed to speed up the air molecules and with increased speed, there are more collisions with increased strength, thereby increasing the pressure. Whenever we increase the temperature of the air, volume being constant, pressure increases. Similarly, if the pressure is kept constant, increase in temperature would give increase in volume and form the second of the gas laws, the Charles law. Coming back to the egg and the bottle experiment, when we put the lead paper in the bottle, we raised the temperature and the air wanted to expand. As the egg was vibrating, the air got out of the side of the bottle's neck and so the pressure inside the bottle decreased. The air outside wanted to rush into the bottle to take up the space. So technically, the egg was pushed and not sucked inside with a pop sound. But what else makes a pop sound? Popcorns. These corns have starch and endosperm within them, something which is rich in water content. 
When we heat them up, this water becomes water vapor, a gas which obeys the gas laws. When we increase the temperature, the gas inside has nowhere to go owing to the non-porous hard shell covering. And so, volume being constant, pressure inside increases. When this pressure becomes enormous enough, it breaks apart the shell, bringing the gelatinous liquid inside out. This rupture makes a pop sound, and that is why it's called a popcorn. Wow, that escalated quickly. But what else escalates is a rocket. Recently, ISRO launched 103 satellites into space in one rocket. Did you know that the first applications of rocket was actually to deliver mails? In June 1934, Gerard Zucker tested his first pilot to deliver 1,200 mails with special stamps named Western Isle Rocket Post between the Scottish islands of Scarp and Harris. His principles of rocket were correct, but he only applied it at the wrong place. He set up a copper tube with a small nozzle at the back filled with powder explosives. The space between the inner copper tube and the outer cylinder were filled with letters. When the explosives were ignited by the battery, hot gases were produced which had no way to escape than the small nozzle at the back. Now Newton's third law states, to every action there is equal and opposite reaction. The gases are rejected down with such a high force that it lifts the entire rocket up to its destination. These gas laws apply to numerous things in our day-to-day -day lives which goes unnoticed. From something as mundane as breathing to steam engines, your favorite soda, climatic changes, household appliances, aeroplanes. Next time when you are in flight, take a plastic cup and make it airtight by sealing it. And let me know in the comments below what happens to the cup when the plane lands. And remember, despite all the pressure that's on you, if you apply the forces on the right direction, it will only lift you. Cause the only way is up. And as always, thank you for watching.